Hey, thank you so much to everybody for your Zooms. That was really, really, really fun for me. And I just miss seeing you, even though I don't know most of you. Um, it was just nice to have like contact with you and it made me smile. So I've been on Zoom since nine this morning and it's 9.15 at night and I'm a little bit crazy right now. Um, but hey, if you would like me to have some Zoom hours where we're just, it's just open and you can pop in and ask questions, can you just email me that and I will do that. I'm happy to do that, um, especially a few of you. I just felt like it was really nice to just visit. I want to hear about your life and what you're doing and your pets and your LED lights in your room. You know who you are. Um, so anyway, I miss you. And if you miss your Zoom meeting, because we just had a great couple of days. So nice job. Your grade should be in Google Classroom if you turned in your slideshow. If you turned it in late, um, it's probably not in there yet. So I'll get to that. Just quite a bit behind, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go through slideshow tonight. Um, if you haven't picked out your business yet, you should really have that done. And if you can't find one and you're stuck, can you please let me know? And I will help you pick one out. And I have lots and lots of contacts. I'm so old, so I do. Um, okay, I made a separate slideshow last year, maybe even last fall, and I really liked it. So I just I'm just put a link for it in here. Today, we're going to talk about economic systems. To be honest with you, TBH, as you could say, um, it's probably one that you have learned about in social studies. So I'm going to cruise through it. Normally, I spend a lot more time on this, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it because um, it's different economic systems. So sorry if I yawn. And I have an ear infection that's been going on for a while. So um, I just always itch my ear. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So here are we, we're going to talk about economic systems and how they answer the three big basic economic questions. I'm really proud of you for watching these two. For those of you who don't, you're not even going to hear this, but it's, it's kind of fun. So here's a couple of videos if you want to know a little bit more about economics. I'm not going to go through those in economic systems. One of them is long, one of them is shorter. Take a look at those. If after this you like this, you should definitely take it just be econ. But honestly, the social studies econ department is probably a little bit more like this than HSB econ is. Um, so it's kind of interesting just to hear about different economies. So what is an economic system? The way that a country handles economic decisions and solves problems. So like right now, during COVID, our economy is just out of whack. It's like the Great Depression, but it came out of nowhere. There was no gradualness um to it at all. And all of a sudden, our government is going into more and more debt to try to support businesses and individuals who are not having an income right now. So I don't know about you, but it stresses me out. I'm like, why are we taking in all this debt when we can't afford it? But I know we need to help people, um, but it's just not in my core. I don't like having debt. So anyway, and it's also a way that we make our spending decisions. So I honestly am not happy about COVID, but I do think our country probably needed a little recalibration. And I hope that, um, you are finding some blessings in all of this, and I absolutely am, so it's good. Um, okay, so economics is basically, we have unlimited needs and wants and limited resources, um, and there are four different types of economies, and people will call them different things. We're gonna talk about these, um, traditional command market, and then mixed economies. So traditional economy, is one you probably won't ever be in touch with unless you go into, I think one of you wants to be an archaeologist. Um, it's like people just barely supporting life. They grow what they need and they eat and consume what they need. And that's about it. They may barter. They probably don't have a lot of currency that they use, but um, it's people who live in the Andes Mountains, the Amazon rainforest, um, and rural areas in South Dakota. This is a video, I actually need to put this video at the end because it makes more sense at the end. I'm gonna let you watch this. It's actually a really funny video. I've watched it like probably 15 times and I, it gets funnier every time. If you're not really into politics or international relations, you'll probably just roll your eyes and go, what is that? But if you are, it's actually really funny. I like it. Okay, so command economy is, um, most people think of command as communism and it kind of is, but socialism actually falls into that category and some social studies teachers might teach you a little bit differently. Just know that there's um, different types of economy. So economy and economy is basically when the government controls everything. Um, they own production, they figure out what's going to happen with all the money that they have and they make the decisions about where people are gonna work, 
um, what they're going to spend their money on, what people are going to be, where people are going to be living. And um, basically like Cuba, North Korea, that those are communist countries, command economies, um, where the government is control of everything. Then there's socialism, which most people wouldn't consider as a command economy, but in the text version, it is considered that. Um, this is when the government has some control of production distribution and the people have some control. I just like this Justin Bieber thing, but it gets a little bit old, so I'll sort of cover it up. Um, so there is private ownership allowed. People are able to choose where they work. Um, the government decides on the pay scale and they help make decisions, but the buyers and sellers also help make that those decisions. Sometimes it's called welfare states. I've never heard of it called that before I taught HSB. Um, the best thing about socialism is free medical care, free education. I don't know if you saw that GIF about um, every other country who's not losing their medical insurance except the United States during COVID. So uh, my friends in Canada and in Europe love socialism and my parents actually um, have gone down to Mexico to do some dental work. A lot of people in Arizona do elderly people because um, it's much, much less expensive. And their friends from Canada who live down in Arizona with them, um, they actually like go back to Canada to do their medical stuff and get prescriptions and surgeries and stuff like that too. So anyway, very cool part of socialism. Okay, so next, I'm having trouble clicking. I'm having some Wi-Fi issues today. I just told my son to get off of Netflix so that I could work on this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, next is a market economy, which is the United States, Japan, India, and it's really what you already understand. The government control is pretty limited. The businesses can compete. People can live and work where they choose. The resources is determined by the market. Um, the government creates and enforces the laws, and the government develops markets. So what is the each economy? They answer these three basic questions. What's going to be produced in that economy? How is it going to be produced and who is going to get the production of those goods and services? So this just talks about all of the different economies and what, um, how they determine what's going to happen with those three basic economic questions. So, and who is going to be producing it and who's going to be using it. Um, oh, these, I'm sorry, these are the, uh, sorry, let's go back to this one. Um, so what are some problems with traditional economy? It limits growth. There's a typo oh, for crying out loud. I'm off my rocker here. I don't know why that wasn't fixed. Um, there's not a lot of new ideas and there's no new technology problems with communism. There's just, it's just very, very inefficient. Um, not very many opportunities for improvement in socialism. The taxes are really high. We had an exchange from Slovakia and his taxes we're on like 20 to 30 percent on things and ours are like seven percent five to seven percent on things so much less efficient the wages are determined by the government and abilities and skills and then a market economy some of the problems um, there's financial and legal risk and lots of unequal incomes people who are really really poor and really really rich in the united states so you know what happened here i think that oh i know what i did here okay so i'm sorry like, what happened to my answers here? They're right, right down here. So how would a traditional economy um, determine these? The answers are right here. I did this because I had discussion slides and then you guys would guess. Let's wait for an answer. And then there's some answers down here. So you can take a look at those. Um, how would a communist the government determines? Socialist um, determines. Okay. And then a mixed economy is also known as a socialist economy. That was one of the four. Sometimes the socialist economy is called the mixed economy. Okay, so that's your little introduction. Today you're going to do um, that post test for EC017 and um, keep working on your project. It's not gonna be due Friday. It'll be due sometime next week. Um, so just don't worry about it and have a really great day. It's gonna rain and then it's Friday is supposed to be beautiful. So get your stuff done so that you can have Friday to enjoy. I'll try to be really short on Friday. All right, see you soon, bye.